Okay guys, so this is gonna be my bag for junior year or 11th grade and I've used this in 10th grade and I'm just reusing this in 11th grade since it's still in good condition and I plan to use it till 12th grade and just get a new bag for college. So this bag is like extremely durable because I carried a lot of stuff, heavy stuff in 10th grade and it's still it's still pretty good condition and um what am I gonna say? Ah um it's it's spacious so it can hold a lot of stuff and I don't even know where I got this because my aunt just gave it to me and yeah she didn't even tell me the store but it's just this cute Hello Kitty backpack. So we're gonna start with the trinkets on my back. So over here we have three trinkets, okay? So the first is a Hello Kitty sanitizer. So I got this like since I was 12 and it's just been there. Just just went to like refill the sanitizer and kept the bottle. And plus it matches with my bag. Next I have a Hello Kitty bag tag which um I got from Singapore Airlines. Because it was like their anniversary or something, so they just gave me this on the flight. And yeah, I'm a Hello Kitty lover, but most of these were just like given to me by my relatives. Um, this is a Draco Malfoy keychain. I got it from the Harry Potter studio tour in London, and I wanted a Hermione one or a Genie or a Luna one, but they didn't have. So I just ended up buying this one and they all go together in this you know big black strap okay so in the left pocket um i have this cute um water jug it's a light blue water jug with a k and um this is from typo and it's a 700 ml jug so my aunt also gave this to me like two or three years ago so it's pretty durable no matter how many times this bottle has dropped in class so i recommend you to get this and they have all sorts of letters they have like from a to z so you can get one that starts with your name so now let's move to this smaller pocket so I'll be showing you how it looks inside. So there's like this one holder for like two holders of pencils, a big pouch, and it's really spacious by the amount of stuff I put in this front pocket. So let's start. The first thing I have here is my calculator and um, let me see it looks like this this is the newest cash calculator it's the class with FX 991 EX and I totally recommend you guys to get this calculator if you are doing like math because it really does help make math a little bit easier Next, I got are just some staples for my stapler. Next, I just have my earphones. You know, for class, if you get free time and you wanna watch movies or listen to music, you gotta need these. Um, this is just my emergency kit, so I'll just be showing you what's in here. So we'll be going for the top pocket first. So like this is how it looks like. It's very spacious. Um, I'll just be showing you. So this is like my emergency kit or my like survival for school. So first is I have a mirror. It's from Miniso. I have a normal comb. 
I have like this one for the face. I don't even know why it's in here. I have this lens cleaning wipes for like my eyeglass since I use eyeglasses in school. I have band aids. You know, in case anything happens to me, like paper cuts or stuff. Okay, you guys, you know, since I'm a girl, gonna need panty liners. And a whole lot of napkins. Okay, so we're going for this. This is just like all my medicines and stuff. So first I have paracetamol so in case I feel feverish but I have to take a test and I don't want to miss this test Just take paracetamol or if I have a headache or stuff, paracetamol I have um, diet tabs in case you know you get those LBM or you rush to the washroom Yeah, that's what this is for this is Imodium and it's also the same function as Diatabs, it's just in a different name. Um, I have Decogen for like, maybe some colds in school. Oh, I'm just gonna take this. And last, I have um, Somox for cough because I usually get cough. And that is it in my emergency kit and my front pocket is now empty so let's now move to the red pocket first thing I have here is a fan so this is how it looks like it's just an angry bird fan that I had since fifth grade and it's because sometimes our air cooling class is very hot and generally it's hot in here so you need a fan or if there's no electricity, you also need a fan since there's no aircon or no fans. I have an umbrella because it's really raining here. So you always need an umbrella or sometimes it's too hot to just walk. So umbrella. You gotta need an umbrella for any kind of weather. Um, next thing I have here um, is my school ID. I can't show you the file since it has my school's name, but um, I'll show you the other stuff. So here I have my lock and key since we're supposed to provide our own locks for our locker. This is just a 1 gig USB filled with school stuff. This is another SanDisk um, USB, it's 32 gig, and I just found it like no one's using it, so I have to use it. So it's like you can open like the normal USB and then like the Android stuff, so makes things pretty much better. And that is all in my right pocket. So now let's take a look in the bigger pocket. That is how much stuff I need to bring. And I swear, I thought this bag would break because of how much stuff I'm gonna bring. But you know what? I'm proud of the bag. So, first thing is my pencil case and I'll be doing another video of what's in my pencil cases. So comment down below if you would like it because I have too much stuff in the pencil case so it would make the video much longer so yeah basically my pencil case since ninth grade it's really durable this is from hong kong and it's really this cute my melody you cannot see here but they're like marks and stuff yeah ink stains but this basically holds all my pens pencils you know um next <laughs> here this will also be like in a what's in my pencil case because this is like pressing another pencil case. 
this is like a casemate i got it when i was in canada in walmart and it's also pink matchy um basically to give you an overview it holds like the glue tape scissors and post-its but i'll be showing to you in my next video this one is one other reason um i don't even know what character is this but it's so cute it's a it says here mama goma and like there's a strap there if you want to hold it basically this is also my watch and my pencil case i technically have three pencil case because i'm that extra basically these are all my other stationery like my point 88 my pen 68 and stuff you know the extras for note taking plus my highlighters since it couldn't fit in my pencil case at all um here next i have a bunch of index cards i have a one fourth oh one eight sorry one eight one fourth one half it's because schools here in the philippines every time you go back to school like on the first day the teacher will be like asking to get one of these sizes of index cards with a one by one picture and like write your name information all about you age favorite stuff you know so like i've come prepared because most people just like go ask everyone and like i only bought a few so like i'll just tell them this can only last for like six subjects but i haven't got my one by one picture because um technically i have no one by one so i have to go like picture and like print those photos so yeah next um we have one of my brown and planners um i'm just using the starbucks cover of 2018 it's just the like do list stuff and don't mind i just stripped like the finished papers and for some reason it went like this because i didn't want to add too much weight with the other papers so i just cut the ones that are blank but then so you can find this locally. I just found this like in a like in a stationery shop before. So I just got it. So that's just for to-do list. Um the other one is my real planner. So this is where I write all my plans and stuff. So let me show you. Mm. See? It's like all for school. Although this has been empty because not much has been going on in my life in summer. Um this is just an example for the school. The, like the summer is like nothing except for like plans. Sometimes I write my to-do list here, but normally I don't use a to-do list in summer because it's more like a routine and like there's notes pages and stuff so i think i'll be seeing an august plan with me so comment down below if you want an august plan with me since i've stopped doing plan with me because it's summer so i think i might resume it um next we have my math notebook so this is i got from taiwan and i also used it last year this is the b526 ring so first i have this like clear plastic um these are all just like hand-me-downs from my cousin she already finished college so she just gave me all her stationery stuff then like i have the dividers also from my cousin and then i have notebook paper i don't even know the brand i just like get, like ask people to like buy random just make sure it fits and i also have graphing paper since of course it's not might need graphing and I don't want to graph here because I can't graph it nice so I have graphing paper for this that's math and um next this is my science but I've heard we're just gonna do bio this year kill me it's a whole bio also I have like this plastic so what I'm planning to put in here for each subject is like a subject to do list i'll make a printable and i'll let you guys know once it's out um then i'll have like um 
subject to do list um you know my maps or index cards with like some lesson summaries i'll just put it in here and maybe my finished homeworks or worksheets that i just need to file when i get home this um this is like a divider but we have so many of like the diys for like notebooks so like i just made a cut there to fit and I still have more, but these are really kind of heavy, so divider and they take up more space. And of course, I have normal notebook paper. Next, this is my English. So this is the one I bought myself. This is from Compera, and I got it from National Bookstore, of course, the leading bookstore in the Philippines. And it's also a just 25 ring. A 26 ring B5 also. I also put a um, you know plastic sheet and um, the notebook itself came with notebook paper and these dividers so most people they would use that for subject notebook but um, my classes are like mostly on honor subjects or AP so like I'm gonna be writing so much so I'll just use this as like lesson dividers and um here's the paper it's um i it's it's a lot actually but i just like took it out since um it's too heavy so whenever i get less papers i'll just refill it on my own so yeah so these are just the dividers they i just wish they had like a holder for like the papers but anyway i'm not complaining it's really nice and sturdy it holds a lot of papers also um, I don't know the price of this though because I already took it out a long time ago but I believe it's about 230 pesos for those of you wondering wondering next this is my Filipino notebook so also it will have like a plastic sheet and I don't know why this has like purple why the others don't have I'm not sure but I think I don't know again it's just like from the DIYs, just made a cut by itself for the divider and it's just a few papers since I think this year it will be more on reading or writing, I'm not sure. But normally I don't take too much notes for Filipino since it's mostly like understanding. So I do more worksheets rather than taking notes. Next, this is my um, folder for either history economics you know i don't even know what we're taking this year maybe if they're not maybe if it's philosophy then yeah this is also the plastic diy yeah and notebook paper so i also get my notebook paper from taiwan since they sell bigger packs in cheaper prices so that's more that's a lot of saving of money rather than buying it in here locally next I have this love if I'm not even gonna pronounce it love um I don't know who gave me this but when I was eight I received this as a present um I'll show you it's like four four dividers See, one, two, one, two, then you have a three, and then a four. So it holds, like, I can put this for four subjects. Mm -hmm. Four subjects, and I'm planning to use this for, like, test papers only, since my folder tends to get pretty fat because of too many worksheets and test papers, and I normally don't organize it together, so... Um, I have four of these, and this is for like math, science, English, um, Filipino, and then I have my other folder. Also a present for my classmate in grade 6. Um, so this will be my AP folder, or wait, history or economics, sorry, or philosophy. And then... I have like two more and they're identical. I got it from a travel expo. Um, 
this will be for Chinese since Chinese is also an elective so only one semester and this one's from my religion Christian education yeah and like you know I painted this before and it took a long time it took a lot of scrubbing to like get the paint off because the paint will stick on your bag and I don't want it and I want also use this folder because I've never used it because it will just be a waste if I throw it away or not use it so like at the end of cleaning these two, I have like broken fingernails. So, rip my fingernails. And this is my last folder. Um, it's a Rila Kuma folder I bought from Taiwan when I was in 7th grade and I've been using it. And it's very, very sturdy. Um, this is where I will hold my worksheets because it can really hold a lot more than the other subject folders. So, I'll just be showing you. This is my mat, and I have like a square table, see, for this like reference, I don't know why I made that though. Um, this is my, how do you say this one? Circle, unit circle, unit circle, yes, this is for three go, trigonometry, this is statistics, the area standard normal curve, this is the this is one of the lessons I hate in statistics. And this is like a formula sheet when I was in 7th grade and I just kept it because you might use it. It might be useful. Okay, this is my science part and I only have like significant figures. Yeah, the rules of significant figures since I always get mixed up when I was in 7th grade and until now I would get like minus 1. For not having my answers in sig fig whenever we had like problem solving in chem, physics, or even bio. Yeah, surprisingly, bio has some problems, but not as hard as physics or chem. This one's English. This is subject verb agreement. Of course, since I think my grammar in English is not that good, but I know how to speak English. This is for my CE. There's nothing. Filipino, nothing but a bulk paper. Um, Arling Panlipunan or you call it history, social studies, or sometimes economics if you put it in there, philosophy if there ever, Chinese, PLEs like you're getting the cooking, the computer, yeah, that's what it's, PLEs are for technology and livelihood education. And this is my EP or like guidance class or help class. And this is like scratch papers, you know, you have to reuse. And that's it. So the only I, I fell in love with this folder because like it has multiple folders. And who can ever say no to read them? Still cute. And my bag is now empty. My big pocket. So that's like what's in my bag oh yeah i forgot to put this in my bag since it was charging but also in my big pocket is this ipad um i have the ipad fifth generation been using it for two years it's absolutely wonderful and um this covers from swiss tech it's like the protective one so if it falls it doesn't get damaged that easily and yeah so this is how my ipad looks like and um, we use iPad in school for most of our books so the only books that are in printed are my math books and yes it's an R I'll be showing you how many math books I'll have later and my Chinese book but we haven't got our Chinese book since Chinese book is done in second semester so I'll have to wait for that um, the ebooks in here are like for biology, English, Filipino, I don't even know if it's history or economics, but yeah, and even our Christian education. So basically, if you forget your iPad, you don't have books for that day, and if you don't have your iPad, you won't be able to see what your teacher posts because we use iTunes U, so that's why our teacher posts our worksheets, lesson plans, updates. So basically, it's like a classroom. And we also use like the educational apps 
So if you don't bring your iPad, basically, you're gonna miss whatever your teacher posts. You don't have a textbook for that day. And if you need to use the apps, well, good luck. And we also use this for project making, like, we we make, like, movies, pictures, stuff. So, yeah, so our school's going digital. So, I also forgot to show you, but this is also going to be part of my bag, I think, for second semester. This is a... Um, my graphing calculator, but I don't think I'll bring it on the first day of school because I don't know when I'll take my AP calculus AP because um, This calculator graphic calculator is just for the AP calculator AP. So um, I got this case um, from Bovke B-O-V-K-E. I don't know how to pronounce that and it, I chose the black one and it's really hardcover so if you accidentally drop your calculator in this, I think it's gonna be really protected. So I'll show you what's inside. So this is how it looks inside. So there's like one, this is for a calculator, it holds, it straps it so it won't get out. Um, this is like a zipper case, so I'll show you what's inside. So I have this, this is one of the charging adapter for the calculator. Okay. This one is like for the Texas, like from one calculator to the other if you just want to transfer your stuff or back it up. This one is for the Texas instrument for to plug it into the computer if you want to like put extra stuff in your calculator so use this mm. this is the warranty for the Texas instruments mm, this is like the manual yeah this is like a start here starter guide So, yeah, and we also have the back. And now, I'll show you my calculator. So, this is the, um, I got it in the mono, at the original color because the ones with the colors like these, it, um, cost extra money and you know it's just a color so the ones that were this like had different color with the same price as this they were like sold out so I couldn't get one but I'm okay with this it's the same function anyway it's just a color that's different and um this is how it looks like I'll turn it on for you guys so yeah so this is how it looks like And here is the manual for the TI-84 plus C. So basically, it's just an instructor, instructions on how to do stuff, you know, things that always come with it. And yeah, that's it. So these stuff are, I'm also going to bring to school, but I'm going to put them on my locker. And my locker is just basically beneath my chair. That's how small the locker is. It's not like in the US where it's outside and you have to switch classrooms. We only have one classroom. So let me just start showing you. Let's start this one. Okay, this is gonna be a little heavy. Okay, this is my MacBook. One of them, one of the three. Look how thick it is. Generally, look how thick. This is because I'm gonna take AP Calculus AB and they just give you a chunk of stuff. Would you look at those formulas and would you look at these numbers? I am already. I don't even know what I'm gonna be once we get to calculus. And by the way, the test this year for AP Calc AB, guess one, May 5, 2020, 8 a.m. Can't they make it an afternoon test? 
Ah. Oops. Um. Wait. Let me stabilize this. Okay. This is my statistics and probability textbook. One of yeah. It's also a math textbook. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to statistics and probability mainly. I just don't like it that much. But what I like about these books is that they have like a answer key at the back with solutions, not just an answer key. Oh no, this is the index. Why did I find the answer key? Okay, it's not in here. I thought I saw an answer key. Just a minute. See? Answer key! But at least you have solutions. So, if you cheat, just know how to do it. And excuse me guys, I have a cold today, so bear with my voice and my nose. Again, um, this is general math. So basically it's just a review of whatever we had from 7th to 10th grade. Plus, they included business math, so like, I'm like, I signed up to be specialized in physics and calculus, not business math or ABM, and yet we are supposed or required to learn ABM math, but I'm okay because it's a lot easier. And it's just normally formula based and just have to know when to apply them. That's all for my math books, and I think I'm gonna bring them. Not on the first day, because my bag's gonna totally rip. Maybe during the first day, because it's not like we're gonna use these three books. All at once. I bet they're just gonna use one of them. And I swear they they charge so much money for that. If we don't even use it that much, what a waste of money. Um, this my friend is an extra envelope. I just like stored bond papers. This is a Hello Kitty folder from Takashimaya in the Kyoto part because I've been to Japan like four or five times. And like Kyoto's has to be one of them I always go to. And like this is our school's Chinese paper. I can't show you because it's my school's name, but it's just Chinese paper. You can search it up Chinese paper. It has these boxes. Yeah, these boxes and there's like a line above the right here in. So whoever's saying Chinese, definitely need this. Uh, okay, what's next? What's next? Oh okay. good. Okay, this is a green folder I had since 6th grade. This is um, a long bond paper size. I think you'll know why. It's um because my bond paper is a legal size, which is long bond paper. It can't fit to a short bond paper folder. So, I had this one left and I'm grateful that I had at least one of these that can fit. And um, this is my quiet time paper for my Christian education. So I just used to write our reflections. So that's just in this folder. And though, um, this is just another small, which is my graphing paper. And another bond paper since our teachers like typically expect us to have at least bond paper and they like. You don't assign us the day before to bring bond paper, so like I have a ton of them in case you know I have to be the one sharing with them or in case I messed up. Yeah. Bond paper. Um, this is my school's emergency kit. Um, in case anything happens, like earthquake, fire, lockdown, or you know, anything used to survive if you're stuck in the school. And um and I have this cute bag tag, it's an Anna. Yeah. So I'll just show you what's inside. So it's really spacious. So I'll just be showing you what I've got. So first up, water. Because you need to stay hydrated, guys. Medical tape. I think this is for bandages or stuff. Yeah. Alcohol, yeah, to you no know, sanitize your hands because we don't want germs anymore. 
Um, this is my school's. Um, this is just my personal information stuff. Basically, it has my name, where I live, where my parents, who to call in case an emergency happens, and hotlines for the MMDA, the barangay, and the Quezon City Fire Department, and the emergency hospital number. Um, what else? Oh, I have this one. Um, this is cool. Um, it's a whistle. And it's a flashlight. See? A roll of band-aid? Yeah, it's dirty. I know. But it's all of band-aid in case you get injured. So, you know, you can just... You have a bandage to protect your wounds from the germs, outside germs, and this is really crucial, or else you'll get an infection. Believe me guys, you would need this the most. No, you will need water the most. Because if you're not hydrated, you will die. You can survive days without food, but not days without water. I brought pita crackers! Of course, you need to have at least something to eat to give you energy, a boost of energy. Yeah. So I just bought crackers since this, these are the only crackers I have in the house at the moment. Um, these are just my medicines in case I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck in the school. And I think I have medicines in case I get sick when an accident happens and that's really the worst way. I also have band-aids to treat my injuries if it's just small and nothing major. But if it's major, it has to go with that bandage wrap. Mm. Ah, here. I have a cordless tissue and some cotton, also for medical stuff. And I have it in this ziplock. I have a bandana, so it's normally worn so that when like, there are people searching for you, you just have to like wave it and stuff and also sometimes it's used as a mask to cover your face and stuff so it's like a big big handkerchief yeah face mask you know you also need to protect yourself from dust especially if you asthma sweet dust and dirt is really bad for you um i also have another whistle and I have another flashlight. Oh, it's not. Oh, there's no battery. Okay. That means I have to change it. Good thing the other one has battery. Okay, now to change that one. And that's it. Next one is I have my Bible since we're in a Christian school. We gotta have a Bible. And we have the ebook Bible, but I also have the physical Bible because for some reason our school requires you to have the physical Bible in chapel since they don't want you to go on your iPad and do something else. So, yeah. Um, and here it's just my lab. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna fold it again, it took so long. This is just my lab coat because when you go to the laboratory, they require you to wear a lab coat to protect yourself and stuff and like you have to tie your hair and stuff. So, yeah. This is normally used in laboratory if we go for lab. Um, in here, I have my school, my lab, I don't know how you say, goggles? It's not the goggles as in the, the swimming kind. Come here, come on. Ah. Here. This is the, the glasses. Yeah, it's used to use it to protect your eyes, which are the most important. But for some reason, if you have glasses, you don't need to wear that. But genuinely, I'm scared for my eyes and for the eyeglass, I just wear that. And since I can bring my iPad, I'll just like enlarge it if I can't see anything because that's how blind I am. I have a stapler. Of course, you got to have a stapler because in case that last minute you didn't staple your documents or, you know, if the teacher asks you to staple, so you got to have a lot of staples since you'll be the ones 
your classmates will go to, they need a statement. So I'm going to be one of that kid. And finally, we have tissue. What wipe? Because RCR has no tissue every time. The only times you'll have tissues like the first day, the first week of school and the last week of school. I swear, they have no tissue in there and it's so unhygienic. Sometimes they don't even have soap. I'm like, we paid their tuition fee and part of it goes to the bathroom and where did you put all the funds for the bathroom? And wet wipes, you know, if you're too lazy to go wash your hands, you know, just use wet wipes. Yeah. And that's gonna be everything for my locker. So next, I'll be showing you my what's in my lunch boxes. Most of you wanted me to include in this video in my Instagram stories. So this is how it looks like. It's the Ultra Arctic Zone Original established 1986. And what I like about it is it's expandable. So right now it's not expandable. And if you um the, yeah, if you zip that, it will make it smaller. So it came with like you know the food containers, but I didn't use it because I had my own. So we'll just be using it to store food at home. But mainly I bought this one is because um my lunchbox I've been using since seventh grade is wearing out. So I'll be using this till college if ever I need to bring food for college. So. Yeah, um, it also came with ice packs to cool your food. It says to cool around 12 hours. You can cool for up to 12 hours, but my food, there, my food basically is hot. It's not like I bring sandwiches like in the US to school. Mine is like hot food, so I don't need the ice pack, but it's an insulation for the heat. So, mainly, um, this one, you can like put it like strap it in your backpack but I feel like it's too heavy for it to be strapped and there's like this holder which you can put on this and like on this and you can hold it like that or they like that so what I also like about this is that this um, nudge box is waterproof and dustproof so it doesn't get that dirty easily even though it's light colors, which is very nice because I just love this turquoise. Yes, I'll make it turquoise. So I'll show you the pockets. There's a pocket in here. You can this is used to put ice packs, but I have nothing. Also at the back there's like a zipper, which I like. There's many compartments. Yeah. So then I'll just Take you to the inside of the launch box. This is how doing it one handed. Okay. Ta -da! And see if you put it here, it comes up there and the other one comes up the bottom so it really cools your lunch if you ever bring sandwiches. So I'll show you. This is how it looks like. This is for my snack. It's a My Melody container. I got it when I was in 6th grade in Japan. Yeah, how many times I went to Japan? I think in count, I always bring something home. So this is one of it. It came with three. There's a bigger one. There's this and there's a smaller one. So this will be put for my snack since we have snack at school. And I don't normally buy from the canteen since there's been recent food poisoning in our school. So I'm too scared to buy food. I only buy food if like my food is spoiled, so I only have emergency money for that. But mainly, I try to avoid food, um, canteen food as much as possible. So yeah, so mostly what I eat, I would have a biscuit and I would have a yoko. It's like a lactobacillus milk. So basically, it's a very yummy drink. It's a very delicious drink, and it's lactobacillus. So I I don't know if people with people who what's that word you know people who are sensitive to dairy products are good with it because I'm only sensitive to a bit like if it's too creamy that's the time I get stomach aches on partly like that very little but I don't know to those who are really you know completely 
not supposed to eat dairy so yeah um this is um a thermos so it's really big yeah okay it's by the brand thermos and i'll just be opening it for you So this is how deep it is. This is for my rice, but we don't fill it to the brim. It's like one fourth rice since I'm not a very big eater. Well, my grandma said me to be a big eater, but yeah. So I have one for that and one for this for my ulam. I don't know how you say that in English. So if any Filipino knows how to translate it to English, please tell me because I can only say ulam, rice and ulam. Typical Filipino. So yeah. So this can keep your food hot for up to eight hours, and this can be. So this is also good for soup. So sometimes I bring soup to school, so it would be really nice. Um, yeah, it would be really nice. It's also it can also make it cold for up to twelve hours. This is um my water jug, and you might be asking, why would I bring a second water jug? Well. Let me tell you, um, this is a 620 ml water jug and our school's water, like water fountain is like so not filtrated that many people get sick. So I had to bring two bottles because I don't want to get sick. So to cover up at least, I don't know, 1,720, 620, about 1,000, 1.5 liter water for school. So this is, I've been using this since grade one and it sustained so many cracks that I'm still surprised how come it stayed uptight when all my other water jugs will break. And if you need a water jug that doesn't break, I recommend you to go get the lock and lock. I swear that thing is unbreakable. I tried breaking it. It's unbreakable. I had one but I just hate it because it spills when you drop it because of the lid. But yeah, so this is what's in my lunch bag. So that's it guys for my what's in my backpack plus <coughs> sorry my locker stuff and my lunch bag <coughs> sorry um thank you guys for watching and hope you like this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and click the bell button to never miss a notification of when I upload and also guys um whoever's going back to school I wish you good luck because many Filipinos are also going back to school in August. We literally have schools going back on June, July, August. So, yeah. So, comment down below when you're going to school. What are you excited about school? And what's your favorite subject? And I will see you guys on my next video. And remember to check out next week's video. It's gonna be a What's in My Pencil Case featuring three of my pencil case. So, hope you guys like this video and hope you guys have a nice and productive day. Bye!